Newly released surveillance video shows Gabriel Wartman pulling up to a Brinks facility. He goes inside, signs some papers, stuffs his briefcase full of cash, and comes out two minutes later with $475,000. It is less than three weeks before Wartman would go on a rampage, killing 22 people. The perpetrator's illicit financial activity occurred in various areas of his life. After the tragedy, the RCMP found a total of $705,000 on the gunman's property in Portapique. Stacks of cash buried underground in an ammunition box. Another $20,000 was found burned in his mock police cruiser. His partner previously testified he was withdrawing his money because he believed the world's economy was going to collapse due to the COVID-19 pandemic. He was just becoming really paranoid with the COVID. So he would listen to the news from morning to night. He would talk about the world's going to end. He would obsess about this kind of stuff that he needed to protect what we had. The commission admits it still doesn't know exactly how Wartman had so much. He spread it across five different banks, declaring an average net income of less than $37,000 a year, money he made at his denture clinic. Some of his patients paid him cash. Plus, he received more than 400000 from the province between 2015 to 2020. That money was for treating patients on income assistance and disability support. The perpetrator obviously underreported his income. One bank did report a suspicious deposit of $200,000 into one of Wartman's accounts to Canada's financial intelligence agency, Fintrack, back in 2010. Fintrack did not report the matter to police. Kayla Hounsel, CBC News, Halifax.